Thank you very much. Oh, I'm, I'm thrilled to be with you. Some of you may not have met our brand new sparkling new lieutenant governor, so let me bring her forward, take a look at you. Pamela, say it. Let them hear your voice. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I, it's an honor to be here today, not only as your lieutenant governor, but as a mother of three beautiful children myself. So thank you. Uh, thank you for all coming out and our governor. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all, I remember, I remember, thank you, Pamela. I remember years ago when we'd have something uh, like this, there wouldn't be this many people That's right. there. And I remember they were primarily in, in the upstate. Well, the good news is that there are a lot more of us. There are a lot more understanding of, of what this means, and we're getting stronger and stronger. And the really great news is it's, it's a good thing that the understanding of the pro-life movement is getting stronger in what it stands for, for life, because as we see things going on in the world today and even in our country, know, we know how important it is for us to stand strong and let people know what this all means. It is a very, the personhood bill, it was introduced by then Senator uh, Kevin Bryant and was, it, and was, did, not, did not become law. Uh, I had pledged my support at that time for the Personhood Act. And I reaffirm that now. It is a, I signed the pledge, I supported the bill. And I've, as was mentioned a moment ago, it is a very clear, concise, easy to understand concept. Either life begins at conception or it does not. And if it does not begin at conception, then when does it begin? So it's very concise. So I say this, I have done things to make it clear what st South Carolina stands for, just as you have. I issued the executive order that provided that no state agency will provide tax money for abortions and also to, uh, have the Department of Health and so Social Services not allow abortion providers to be on our Medicaid rolls. But that, that's just the beginning. We're still... As in other things, for our great state, the greatest place on earth to be. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. We must stand tall and stand together and be strong in what we believe is the best for the people of our state and the people of our country. So I, and we can be leaders. So I say to you, you send me that clear, concise, perfect personhood bill and I will sign it into law and thank you.